I was searching in old, uh, say, radio books. And then especially the surcard uh, books. They are free on uh, the World Wide Web. As far as I know, radiohistory.com. And on a certain page I found a uh, amplifier that worked like they told on 1.5 volts. Well, that's of course very very interesting. Uh, 1.5 volts that is such a low voltage compared to say the classical voltage drop in uh, silicon transistors, especially silicon transistors, their voltage drop is in the 0.6 up to 0.7 or even uh, 0.8 volts. Uh, that means that um, uh, when you want to drive a silicon transistor amplifier on a voltage that, that is somewhat higher, um, Say the physical, the physics uh, tell us that that is a cumbersome thing to do. Anyway, um, I found on that book, in that book, uh, a certain circuit. Perhaps I want to show it. Well, I think I'm not going to show it because it didn't work. I couldn't get it working. And perhaps when you do your best you can get it working anyway but after all I found that I could use that circuit out of that surcard book and there is more I will tell more in the description I could use it as an uh, oscillator and an oscillator that worked on only 1.5 volts well uh, there we have the same problems. Uh, the standard voltage drop in a silicon transistor is in the order of one, sorry, 0 0.7 up to 0 0.8 volts, perhaps even 0 0.6 volts. Then it starts, the silicon uh, transistor starts and even the silicon diode starts to conduct. So uh, then it starts, like we say, in a certain way working. Anyway, um, I could this whole circuit working. And here is the schematic. It's a quite coarse schematic derived out of that a uh, circuit from the circuit books and um, I don't blame the circuit books um, it's from the 1970s and surely in those days they use certain transistors that could make it work etc etc but I have used now here to say standard silicon uh, transistors the BC547 is MPN, the BC557 is PMP, the current amplification factor is between 250 and 300. So here's that circuit again. Uh, pen over somewhat. Don't want to make it too long because, well, too long is not good. Anyway, uh, here is that circuit again. And I've used here a switch to switch to other frequencies and also here a potential meter though that potential meter does not have a big effect on the oscillation frequency. And the strange thing is, and of course not strange in a certain way, when we look to the circuit, uh, the, uh, the oscillation moves from one position of the 1 mega ohm uh, potentiometer to 
from 250 hertz to suddenly 182 kilohertz well let me show it perhaps that's interesting and the most interesting thing is of course that the whole circuit works on only one battery 1.5 volt battery so well let's look what happens in the circuit that's important of course here are the waveforms well now we are on say let me put out the lights we are on 262 Hertz well of course that is a frequency that surely can be heard and I switch on now the audio amplifier I need a little bit light and you can hear it so this is a waveform that is generated by this simple uh, 1.5 volt battery waveform is quite okay anyway I turn now one of the potentiometers here And that's a strange thing that I wanted to tell about. When you turn this here, this potentiometer here, it suddenly goes to the a very high frequency. And of course, uh, that is, has everything to do with the fact that this is an experimental circuit. And here we are on 174 kilo cycles. Well, quite high, of course. Anyway, it surely works. And the good thing is that it only works on this one battery. One battery of 1.5 volts. So, there's not so much more to tell. Uh, 176.891 kilohertz. That's quite good. I think it's interesting this circuit, and especially because it works on only 1.5 volt battery. Thanks for watching. I will pan over somewhat uh, to pay somewhat more attention to it. And this is the circuit again. And of course, this is the schematic again. Of course, this is schem this schematic is free for all kinds of experiments. Uh, when you study this circuit and test it on the oscilloscope, you can see, for instance, that when you change this resistor, the frequency changes substantially. And also here, when you change that resistor, so uh, use it or make it to your own need in say where you want to use this uh, generator that only works on that 1.5 volt battery thanks for watching And this beautiful waveform, that's my ID.